YouTube. It's another one of these videos out in front of my house with just the light in the front of my house and the street light not very well lit, kind of fuzzy. But I think about the Cohen brothers. Uh, I've only seen our brother, where art thou? But uh, they uh, uh, made apparently their first film as a big, huge blockbuster with all of the lighting and everything, and it was expensive and it didn't do too well. But then their next film, they dialed things back. They made a simpler film with the camera they had with them. It had like a stuck pixel in one spot, but the story was better or something, and it was a lot more successful, and everyone loved it. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I wanted to do a little video talking about some, like, feelings and thoughts that I was having earlier today. This is related to the two comments by Mute Zero and Lizzie Linux. The ones that I talked about in my addressing two comments on why I don't have Patreon supporters. Go check that video out. This is kind of adding on to that a little bit. But ultimately, I'm really grateful for those comments. And they've kind of given me a sense that I am in the right direction. I So I started YouTube, actually, because I was making videos before YouTube. And I have this in greater detail on uh, my updated channel trailer, which has been replaced by my Patreon trailer. But... I, I was just making videos because I liked it and because it was fun. A few friends in the neighborhood would see it. Friends, quote-unquote. Because I had autism and I didn't have a lot of friends. I, I do, but like it was worse back then. That's a whole other video. And then um, some family might see it, you know. And then, But I started uploading to uh, adamfilms.com because you could make money. Yeah, sure, a lot of people had to see your video, think it was funny, and then you could be on Comedy Central. I didn't care about either of those. I just cared about the money because then I could go to the grocery store and, you know, I could buy myself uh, a new remote control car or something cool. Or I could buy myself uh, some candy and then share it with someone who was actually my friend. Va various things, you know. But I really liked the idea of, after doing that, you know, I was like, you know what? I actually like the idea that there is a possibility that someone could see my videos and watch them and just see them. I didn't necessarily think in terms of enjoy them, but yeah, sure, enjoy them did work its way in there. They could see them and enjoy them, and they would just be there for people to view. And I wasn't thinking, you know, I would get, ooh, thousands of, or millions of views and lots of subscribers, and I'd be super famous. It was just me sharing my stuff and so I've done that for not counting the three years that I was gone well, we can say 10 about 12 years maybe actively putting videos out and it's kind of been up and down I think some of the content I used to do has been better than what I've been doing lately but there's a whole lot of reasons you know Pinnacle Studio's not been working great for me. I'm having problems with almost every video I try and do in it and stuff like that. And so it's kind of been tough, but I've been working to kind of get back to some of that. And where was I going? Oh, yeah. So just thinking about those two comments and like I, I would keep doing this even if, you know, I didn't have a lot of views. Well, I don't know, I say that, but maybe not. I think I'm kind of beyond the point of if people you know, people could see my videos, there's a chance. And I'm now into the, this has to actually work out in some regard. I like to think that if I had a lot less subscribers than I do, but more especially if they were more active, like let's say I had 50, maybe just 100 subs and that was it, but most of them were all very active and liked my videos. You know, we could have a close-knit community, and I would still make content for them and do stuff. It probably wouldn't be a full-time job unless somehow those 100 people were like, yes, I need more of this. Here's, I don't know, $50 a piece or however much it would take for me to actually do that as a full-time thing. So it probably wouldn't be full-time at that point, but I would still do it in some capacity and try and give because that's what I like. But as it is, you know, I don't have a lot of views, 
for the subscriber count I have, but my views are going up. Things are getting better. By the way, I keep tapping my screen because OnePlus rolled out this annoying new feature where, like, the, the screen will dim after a while when you're doing a selfie video so that save battery. I don't want that. I'm hoping there's a way to disable it. Anyways, so, where was I? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they are rising, and part of that, I think, is because I'm trying to do better content and make more things and do stuff, and I'm slightly shifting what I'm doing a bit. And there, there's been some good content in the past, too, that I'm going to try and bring back as soon as I get the chance. But uh, I'm going to pause and compose my thoughts one moment. So I think I know where I was going. Um, basically, numbers are trending up slowly in analytics. Basically, all I know at this point is they're going up. I like looking at analytics as something that I've kind of avoided doing. I'm not very good at a lot. Obviously, I'll look at some stuff that's easy to tell, like dislikes and likes. And there's views, obviously. I see that regularly. Analytics have always been kind of daunting for me. And I think for the first time, I realized why. I mean, first of all, they're big numbers that I don't fully understand. And the interface is very confusing. And I haven't used it a lot. But in the thinking I was doing, it's kind of like... What might happen is, well, I looked at the analytics numbers, and they say this has to be cut out of the video. Oh, but I liked that thing, and I wanted that in there. Or, oh, but it's too much work to cut that out of the video, which has been a very big thing. Early on video making, like, I would finish an entire short five-minute video on whatever, like a little film or something, because I wasn't just talking to the camera until I had a YouTube channel. And then I'd show it to my parents, like, what about this? And you should change that. Like, ah, it's too much work. I already finished the whole entire thing, and it took me, like, two or three hours, and I'm not going back and changing it. I'm a lot more humble now. I'm more willing to take feedback and change some things. But I think that's kind of why I haven't looked at analytics a lot. But numbers are going up, and I am taking baby steps to show that, to actually be able to read them better. And there's some positive feedback. I do have a few people that are watch me every once in a while when they can and you know that's great and those two comments about like having the right content that people want to come back to and see and having different better content or no, they didn't say that but they uh, mute zero mentioned a few different things like some reviews and stuff stuff that i was already planning on maybe trying to do at some capacity or finding a way that i could do it that didn't take too long if it wasn't something I was really interested in and so that I could do in a manageable way and be like, alright, here's a review for you guys. Like like I did the review on my Ampal Flame S earbuds, which is kind of like, right, here's a simple review. Um, you know, I could obviously done a little bit better on some things, but at the moment, I'm not set up to do that and I kind of don't want to in reviews. will always be a slight side thing that I'll do every once in a while. You know, I'm not going to turn into MKBHD. But, um, where is it? Oh, yeah. But currently, just me playing video games, well, that's fun, but, like, go support me on Patreon so I can play Minecraft. No! Please don't. I mean, well, if you like the Minecraft stream, yeah, sure. Supporting me on Patreon, you know, technically, it, I'm going to use it for more than that. So, you got to make sure that, um, you have this... What's the word? You gotta make sure that you're gonna like supporting the other stuff that I do. Because just me sitting around playing video games is not the thing that I want to do. I have better creative ideas. I like stuff better. And, um, what is it? Yeah, I like doing other creative things that use more of my creative juices than just playing games. That, for me, is always going to be kind of relegated to kind of content filler. Unless I'm playing a game with someone else, or I'm covering a specific game as its own little one-time video and I'm not just live-streaming it. Yeah, that's going to be different. But I like that as stuff to do in between working on my other projects. Whenever I need a break from editing or stirring up waveforms on free sound, I can stream Minecraft or some of these other games. And that's great, and I'm fine with that. But I don't necessarily want to be a gaming YouTuber, and if I was... I definitely would not be like the secluded in his house plays games all the time one. I'd have to go out and do stuff with real people and take a walk. I just, I couldn't necessarily do that or handle that. And so I'm not asking people to support me for that specifically. And I recognize that it's not, you know, the greatest thing. Sorry, never mind. Scratch that last sentence there. I'm a little confused. Uh, basically, the two comments 
they these are my raw and real thoughts that's one thing that i kind of like about this format but it's also another reason why some stuff i'm going to try actually scripting it out and writing a little outline that i can basically follow anyways thinking about those two comments today just made me feel really happy because i knew i was on the right track i knew that once i had a better editing space in a room that was better to film things in and stuff then i can start to branch out and do some other stuff and Playing Survival out today kind of helped with that too, because, you know, I was, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft, which it's fun and I like it and I'm really engrossed in that, but it was kind of a nice break. I also kind of actually, for once, felt like, yeah, I'll play some Survival. I felt like I could take a break from Minecraft. Not like I was, I felt like I wanted to, and it was actually, you know, kind of nice, because part of me was like, yeah, finally something different, and so it's good, and... I'm actually a little bit excited for the future and what it brings. I know there's going to be some rough stuff I'll have to talk about and some different things that will come up, but I'm kind of interested, excited to start doing more different things and get more shorts out and more of whatever I decide to do. I always say see you guys in whatever's next because I don't entirely know. There's a wide variety of things that I like to do and that I try and cover. And that's why I've taken the page out of uh, Andrew Huang, where he said he rebranded himself as this guy from a music maker that makes different styles of music that you might like one style but not the next, to a guy who makes videos about music things that he likes on YouTube. That's kind of my brand. It's making videos about things that I'm interested in or that I like, things that I'm passionate about. Short films and little scripted things, skits, uh, maybe. Although I'm not sure it's the right word, I guess so. Things like that nature I want to do more of. That's probably going to become the focus someday, I hope. But there will be other stuff too. And I'm really looking forward to that. And those two comments, they just gave me almost hope, you know. It's like I could have kept going on and doing the same thing and making a lot of the same stuff that I have been and working towards making more things that I want to, even if I didn't have a lot of people because... I like doing it in my free time and so you know why not it's imagine I'm an artist and I make videos just because it's so much fun to make them and I really enjoy the process I was making videos and then like my parents and maybe two or three other people would see them before YouTube and I loved it so much and it was so much fun that it's, all, it's the same as a kid playing with his action figures or his Legos or someone making something that no one else will see because they had fun making it for themselves Editing videos gives when they're especially when they're fun entertaining videos like my animation and scripted things Gives me some of the similar fun exciting feelings that you get from playing video games and stuff So I like it for myself and I would probably keep putting it on the internet because why not it doesn't take that much longer and I can just do it and Almost who cares? I mean I have to a little bit because there's some stuff that like if it's too bad, I will lose a lot of people and it'll be toast for good. But I doubt that's going to happen. So basically, I'm really grateful for those two comments because they've shown me that I'm on the right direction and things are working out. And that, I don't know, that just my plan is good. And so it gives me a little bit of hope for getting the studio set up and for trying some of this stuff because... I honestly have been wondering a little bit where some of my, where like why I haven't had Patreons yet. And most of that is because a few people have been interested in it or they've specifically asked, like one person was a former coworker asked like, how, how can you support me? Where can we go to support you? They wanted to know that stuff. And so it's just been a little confusing for me, like why I say that, but it hasn't happened. I get that, you know, jobs have changed for some of those people and things might be a little tougher now than they were. And so maybe they can't necessarily support me right at the moment. I understand that. But it's just kind of confusing. It makes me think of, there was a thing where uh, one of my coworkers, during the period that I was gone, he wanted to go to the grocery store with me, just do a shopping trip. I'm buying my groceries. Maybe he buys something. Because it was a fun thing. He wanted to see what I buy. It's, you know, it was a thing between us. But it took a long time before we went to the grocery store. And that was something that kind of hurt a little bit. Because it's like, Hey, you say that you want to go to Winco with me, and I would love to go to Winco with you too, and that sounds fun, but, like, it takes so long, and you're always busy whenever I'm going, and do you really want to go with me? 
really is it like or applying to this now that you say you want to support me but do you really want to support me or are you just pretending are you just lying that just i've always found that really really confusing for sometimes because i'm a very logical thinker and it's like the desire to support me or the desire to go see me shop at the store and then like not being available are you it cannot you cannot have two coinciding you want to but you don't want to it's like if you say you want to but you're never available or whenever it comes up there's always something more important and better that you want to do you really want to it's to me it's something that can't coincide it's like um like see my shirt here is the entirety of this shirt is blue with some lighter blue on there it's a cool recycle shirt i found at the thrift store this whole entire shirt is blue it would also not be possible for the whole entire shirt to also be red this is not an entirely red shirt and an entirely blue shirt that is physically impossible and i feel that level of impossibility sometimes for me i probably because i have autism i don't fully understand regular people all the time it sounds to me that way with people saying hey i want to support you but then where are you is it true that you want to support me i don't think those two things can coincide together it doesn't seem possible yeah again i recognize that money's tough and there's a lot of other reasons and there are some very good points in the previous videos i talked about about having content that people actually need more of and sure i get that and i respect all of that basically i'm just really hopeful for the future and there's been some things that are a little confusing but i'm not giving up and I really I'm excited for branching out and doing more than just sitting there and playing Minecraft and other games. It's fun and I like it, but I want to do more content and I want to do different like Odyssey 2 would be probably a little different and clock videos and all these things. I want to do more than just gaming videos because I really want them to be the I can just push a few buttons, take two minutes and then I can go live for however long and play a game in between the other projects that I'm working on. I really want it to be that. I've just played a lot of games right now because, well, that's the thing that I can do. I think I talked about it in, yeah, I talked about it in the second part of the last video where like, anything I can do on my studio? Uh, nope, I'm waiting for mom to finish the door so I don't get my stuff covered in dust. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and thanks to Mute Zero and uh, I think it was Lizzie Linux for leaving those comments. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone who's been watching lately and tuning into the streams, even if there's some people who don't say anything or like YouTube doesn't update properly and show me that you're watching. I appreciate all of you guys. And ultimately, I'm making stuff because it's fun for me, but I'm sharing it because I like sharing and because I think I can be, you know, a, a force for good in the world. I will, you know, there will be some videos coming up where. I'll be talking about some things that need to change. Not necessarily around here. I don't. Uh, anyways, no, I'll talk about that later. That's that's stuff for later. But basically, even if the force for good means what my main goal is of just uploading fun, interesting things about stuff that shouldn't necessarily be politically slanted one way or another, or really bother you know people like an alarm clock video shouldn't really bother people. It should just be fun and entertaining. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna try and go and do or like you can watch me play video games and there's not a whole lot of other stuff that you have to worry about you know not necessarily like you can for me that's not what I want to be but I think of like Captain Sparkles I like some of his videos here and there and you know he's he's mostly clean and but I like I like his thing and some of the other gamers really just play games and have fun and that's mostly it and you can just watch them and know that that's what you're going to get and there's not going to be too much other drama involved with it so yeah thanks for watching uh patreon is patreon.com slash uh if you support me now it means that i can get some of the things sooner so that i can get doing other stuff i would love to just jump in and do other things but i kind of can't right now but i'm going to try and make it work once i get the studio set up I'm going to try and eke out all I can of Pinnacle Studio. Maybe I'll have to give in and 
buy the newer version so I have less bugs and maybe that'll tie me over. I don't know, I don't want to, but I'm going to try and be doing more variety and more stuff. And I'm trying a lot of, you know, simple things. And ah, last thing I'll say is, since there's the pause button on my camera, you know, I've actually tried to do, uh, use that more. And because I can pause and then I can go to the next whatever and I don't need to edit things when I maybe can't because Pinnacle Studio is going to say, oh, I don't like this frame. I'm not going to render your video and whatever. So I am trying to make more stuff and work with the area that I have and get things done. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in whatever's next. It's, you know, I just feel really real warm in my heart right now. Thank you for those comments.